This week's Farm Basics is brought to you by SatShot.com. Satellites aren't just for NASA anymore. Use the power of satellite imagery to create variable rate management zones in your fields. To reduce input costs and increase yields on your farm, go to SatShot.com. Well, just like some of us as humans don't uh, necessarily mature or gray up just as soon as others, the same types of things happen with plants out in the field. You may notice that some fields are maturing a little more quickly than others. Or some areas of certain fields are maturing more quickly than other areas of the fields. We wanted to explain just some of the reasons today why that does happen out in fields. Let's start looking at the differences from field to field. The first thing that you have to look at is the genetics that are out there. For example, we're filming right next to a field of corn that's still pretty green. While the ears are maturing and the corn kernels are drying out on the ears, the plants themselves are still green, waiting for a good hard frost to kill them off. And that particular variety of corn we call about a 96-day corn. So in other words, it takes about 96 days of summer, roughly, in order to mature. The way that corn really matures, though, is it matures based on heat units. Every corn variety has a certain number of heat units that are required in order for it to reach maturity. And the way that we calculate heat units is we take the high temperature for the day plus the low temperature for the day divided by 2 and subtract 50. That tells us growing degree days or what we call heat units. Now the only couple of stipulations we've got with that is the highest you can have for a high is 86. And the reason why that is is basically because corn plants actually kind of start to shut down once you get beyond 86 degrees for a high. And 50 is the minimum low because here again, if you get below 50, your plant is starting to shut down. That's kind of how you figure heat units. And when we have different corn varieties, we have as low as 75 day corn. And then there's corn that, I mean, what's the longest day corn you know of? Well, 120 day corn maybe on the long side of what we'll see. And yeah, it takes just a little bit longer. So you'd plant that further south where you have more heat and uh, the season's just a little bit longer. Now, there is variability within a field though too. Even the fields that we're talking about right now, whether it's a corn field or a soybean field, you'll see parts of the field that mature a little more quickly than other parts of the field. Now, some of this has to do with soil types. For example, if you've got some sandy hills and you've got some heavier, lower ground, you'll probably see those sandy hills mature first. The ground just warms up a little bit quicker. Maybe you've got a little moisture stress out there. There are a lot of different conditions that could play into it, but where you typically have lighter soils or sandier type soils, you'll see maturity happen just a little bit quicker in the fields. Well, besides the, it could have a little more heat and that kind of thing and mature quicker, you also have the other term which we call premature death. And premature <laughs> death can be brought on by lack of moisture, by too many weeds, too many insects, too much disease pressure, a lot of different factors out there. So those are the other things that we're looking at when you see big variability in fields. There are a whole bunch of different things and as a farmer our job is to try to figure out why did this area prematurely die and why did this area over here turn out fantastically well. When an area prematurely dies usually that means lost income for the farmer and less food for the world. So again as farmers we're trying to figure out the whys and once we do that we generally over time can do a better job producing more food even in those areas that this year prematurely died. There are a lot of things that farmers are working on to improve the plant health in the field. So plants are able to live longer into the year uh, right up until that killing frost and being able to take all the sunlight energy into the plant to raise a better crop. So as we're moving on, like Brian talked about 96 day corn on our farm, we used to plant 106 day corn and now we're able to get that 96 day corn to live longer, to do better and for us that works out a lot better on our farm. Now we're less at risk with weather conditions because we've learned more about how to work with plants. Well another thing we're learning more about all the time is how to control weeds, especially this week's Weed of the Week. It's one of the toughest ones that wheat farmers all over the world face. We'll tell you how to stop it on your farm coming up later in the show. <laughs> 